Hello everyone, welcome back to this series of lectures on set theory. Today we are going to see about a specific case where I am going to start the basic understanding of what is the ma meaning of maxima and minima in a three set environment. So I have two cases here as you can see in the diagram. Case 1 deals with one extra meaning like if I start with all the three sets to be empty to begin and I have one element to be added I have a choice of adding in exactly two so I have added between A and B so the set A will have one and set B will have one the total of these two will become two so by just adding one element in the common area between A and B only I am having two values for A and B put together in the case of two extra I have if I am adding the same one element to a common area which is common for all the three then I would be having one for A one for B and one for C which will make two elements extra this two elements extra is nothing but the because of the fact that I am adding it on the common area which is for all the three sets so exactly three if I am adding one I'll have two extra exactly one or exactly two if I'm adding one I'll have one extra with this with this concept let's move move ahead and find out the solution for the problem that's at hand in a college 75 percentage follow movie and 76 percentage follow sports and 67 percentage follow music what is the maximum and minimum percentage of students who follow all the three activities so as we see the identity one that we saw from the previous one I have x plus y is if it is less than or equal to k maximizing one variable will minimize the other that's the concept we're going to apply here so as a first instance I can actually add up all the variables that I have and which will give me a summation of 218 as you see this can this is more than 100 percentage uh, as what we see here so the remaining 118 which is extra here needs to be accommodated in either 2 or 3 so let's put up the first condition where I am trying to minimize the all the three activities so minimization of all three meaning x plus 2y I have taken two variable x and y where x represents those variable which is exactly 2 that is uh, d plus e plus f and y represents the area which is exactly 3 which is g so I'll have an equation from this if I cancel out 100 I'll be having x plus 2y where let me write that equation for you how I got this x plus 2y so basically I have a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f plus g should be equal to 100 percentage this is because of the fact that it cannot exceed more than 100 so I have the value of all these variables to be 100 so what is remaining is d plus e plus f plus 2g that I have represented as I have represented d e and f as x and 2y as 2g now so if you see that x represents those variable which is exactly 2 and y represents those variable which is exactly 3 now what am I going trying to do I am trying to minimize those which are all the three activities which is why I am trying to minimize we also know one more condition in which x plus y can never be more than 100 so with these two conditions we can see that in order to minimize the value here what I can write here is x plus y plus y that should be equal to 118 out of which the maximum value for x plus y I can replace it with the equation below which I'll replace it by 100 so what I'll have here is y is equal to 18 so in if I maximize the value of x plus y or in turn I am trying to maximize the value of x the value of y will automatically will become minimum so this is the minimum value for y which is going to be 18 so so in the case that we considered for minimization of y we are having a value of uh, x and uh, uh, sorry the value of 18 and for minimize uh, that will actually maximize the value of x in itself that is going to be 98 so you can try and see what happens here in this 
in this Venn diagram here I could uh, uh, put the value of the maximum or the minimum value here for y which to be 18 here and the remaining the remaining can be uh, accommodated accordingly so so what I have here is x is um, 92 which is actually a summation of d plus e plus f so if you see uh, I, I need to find out individual values of uh, d e and f so I can do that with multiple ways so if you see that the total is 75 for a so this is going to be 75 here and uh, so from 75 if I subtract uh, 18 I would be having a value of I'd be having a value of 57 so that I need to split between uh, D and E so I'll have the value I can write the equation here I'll be having the value of D plus E to be uh, equal to uh, 57 and uh, again similarly I'll have uh, D plus uh, sorry this should be D plus F uh, should be 57 similarly I would be having uh, the other value which is uh, D plus E uh, which is going to be uh, bit in the set B which is D plus E uh, I can have the value as 76 uh, minus 50 uh, minus 18 I'll have this to be 58 uh, similarly I can also have the value of F E plus F so E plus F can be equal to the remaining 18 uh, I have the value of C to be 67 so I can subtract uh, 50, 50 18 minus 67 uh, that will give me a value of 49 so I'll write it over here as 49 so with these three equations I can independently find the value of uh, D E and F uh, but that's not necessary but the, what the problem asks is uh, to find out the minimum and the maximum value so we found out the minimum value of um, y in our case which is 18 uh, to maximize the value of y what we need to do is we need to look at the same equation but then uh, we need to actually try and accommodate as much as possible in this center area so let's try and do that so in the case of maximization uh, max of uh, y I would be having the value of uh, y to be from the same equation the maximum that I can think about is 100 uh, in, in which case so uh, in which case I'll have x to be 0 so I can have um, uh, even I cannot have anything more than 100 so uh, in, in in order to substitute in this equation and also satisfying this equation let me write the equation once again here I have x plus x plus 2y uh, to be equal to 118 so uh, the maximum value that I can have for y in in the case where uh, I would be having x to be equal to 0 uh, so the remaining will will be taken by y and divide by 2 so the maximum value should be equal to 59 so I cannot have any value more than 59 so you can check for yourself why I'm saying I cannot have any value be beyond 59 so if I substitute 59 here everything will get equally 59 uh, so the remaining portion since we have considered x to be 0 has to be filled out uh, by those which are outside of uh, exactly 2 and exactly 3 so as you can see I can I am fill, filling up 59 3 times so among 218 if I fill fill out 59 into 3 which is uh, going to be 177 remaining of that should be filled in uh, the portion here here and uh, here uh, you can easily do that and you can find out uh, independent values for um, the sets a b and c so as a clear understanding what we what we are trying to uh, accomplish here in the maximum minimi minimization problem for three sets is uh, it's simply trying to find out a way of this particular equation solving this particular equation x plus 2y um, equal to some constant and uh, given the condition that x plus y is less than equal to 100 so all you need to do is whatever value that you're going to have um, from this equation which is over and above 100 that is the 118 which is extra needs to be going into this equation and we have to find out the individual values of x and y based on what we are trying to minimize and what we are trying to maximize so that's objective here if you're able to uh, find out that uh, minimize one variable 
automatically the other variable will, will get maximized and that's how we proceed for sums like this I hope you learned about the concepts of minimization and maximization so one thing which is common in the previous problem and this problem we have discussed is that uh, all these elements are fixed so we are trying to have a constant on the other side now there could be also scenarios where uh, there is a changing variable and we you also have uh, conditions where this 118 extra can be less than 100 itself in that case uh, what what do we do about it so we will look at all these cases in, in the forthcoming classes uh, but I hope you have uh, understood this completely uh, do write to me do mail me if you have any doubts in this in this set of questions thanks a lot for listening